Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with some products that I'm trying and I haven't done reviews on yet, but I'm sort of playing with them to see how much I like them. And I'm back with some tried and true favorites as well. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and mix a L'Oreal uh, Lumi Glotion, this one in, uh, I think it's 902, so I think it's the lightest one. And then I added in some of the e.l.f. bronzing drops. I mix these together, use them as a primer on my face. And then what I'm going ahead and trying out right now is the Tear Tear Foundation. And I got mine off of Amazon. And I got the small size. There's a small size and a large size that you can get. And I'd never tried anything from Tear Tear. So um, it's a cushion foundation. It's been really, really popular. Got mine in uh, 21 Cool, so that's what I have on today. But like I said, I did go ahead and put both the Lumi Lotion and the Elf Bronzing Drops in Rose Gold. So I actually have all three of these on as uh, my foundation today. And so I'm trying them uh, this time with the glowy, glowy look. And so as far as bronzer, I went ahead and used the MAC one, and this one is in the Radiant Light Rosy. And so that's what I have on there. And yeah, I have some hard pan in this particular compact, and I probably need to go ahead and dig that out, but I've been avoiding it. Um, as far as blush today, I do have the ColourPop on, and this is the Liquid Blush in the Shy Shade. And then as far as what I did for lips today, I used the, yeah, this is the 145, and this is the Matting Crayon by uh, Maybelline. And then I used a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss Bling over the top of it. And this is the Butter Gloss with the uh, glitter in the formula. So that's how that looked, and I think it came out real fun. I like this combo. I did use a little bit of the Rare Beauty Mesmerize on top as far as the highlighter goes today. And, um, yeah. yeah. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, this is a really pretty highlighter. I'm really loving this one. And I just picked it up recently. I didn't get it when they first came out. As far as what I did for the eyebrows, I did the e.l.f. Light Brown today. And then I did go ahead and get out the Jewels and Gems. Uh, this is an Odin Eye, and it's a, uh, one of their eyeshadow palettes. And I've been wanting to go ahead and do more with this particular palette. So um, I did go ahead and use it today. Started with this in the crease. I went ahead and used this one right above the crease. With uh, this, and this is a duochrome that goes gold to orange. And I did that from here to here, and then here to here. As far as on the outer corner, I went ahead and put this shade, and this is another duochrome. And then on the inner corner, I went ahead and used this duochrome, which is a gold duochrome. And I did go ahead and use this shade here, which is a brown with red. And I went ahead and used that for my eyeliner today. So again, this is a really good palette. I would definitely go ahead and recommend it. Uh, they came out last fall, and I am still really enjoying this palette quite a lot. So again, it's a Jewels and Gem, and there were actually two palettes came out. Uh, the other one is Stone and Rock. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's more of a green color story. And then as far as the way that the eye look came out, yeah, that, um, the duochrome on the inner corner, yeah, that, it's a really strong duochrome, and so it sort of goes bam. And, um, as far as my all over face powder, I did use a con uh, Contrice uh, Sungasm today. So that's what I have. And it's a pink shimmery powder and makes the whole look go all uh, shimmery and pretty and everything. And uh, I did go ahead and use the Panorama uh, Mascara as my base mascara. I really like it a lot. It adds a lot of length. 
And then I went ahead and used the Essence Volume Stylus, the curl, um, right over the top of this one. And I think it gives it a little bit more length than I usually get with them. Um, so these two together are working real well. This one is actually a tubing mascara, and it's really helping um, to go ahead and get me as much length as I can. And that's what I like as far as... Um, excuse me, as far as uh, mascara goes. And then I did go ahead and use Catrice and um, the Glisten Up by Fourth Ray. And I used that on my collarbones and my shoulders just to give it a little extra glow. And uh, summer weather, I'm really enjoying that as well right now. So uh, what I kind of wanted to talk about today was just kind of a complaint, really. Um, all of my skincare got discontinued. And not that that doesn't happen, when it, but when it happens all at once, it's sort of like, oh, well, um, so I had to back up and pump. And I went and bought uh, the Bioma set, and I think I got it over at Ulta. And so what I'm really enjoying out of that set is the uh, moisturizing gel cream. And so that's working really well for me. It says triceramide complex, niacinamide, and green tea. So I'm really enjoying that one. And then the other product that I got to go ahead and replace uh, some of my facial oil. And I've really been enjoying using using the facial oil at night because it really gives me a lot of moisture and I got the uh, Trader Joe's Marula facial oil and um, I'm really liking this one too. Uh, with Trader Joe's they don't sell over the computer so you have to go into the store to actually purchase um, but if you have one near you I would definitely say try their skincare. I've really been enjoying it. And um, let's see, um, other than that, well, yeah. Um, oh, the other Trader Joe's project that I got was the uh, spray sunscreen in SPF 50. And so I've been really enjoying this as well. So um, yeah, definitely if you have a Trader Joe's near you, definitely go ahead and um, get their skincare a try. Um, and again, as always, definitely go ahead and check the ingredient list, especially if you have known allergies. But yeah, I've been really enjoying. As far as the Tear Tear Foundation, this is the second time I've worn it. First time that I've gone ahead and mixed it with a bronzer and the Lumi Glow Lotion. And um, it's been working fine. Like I said, um, I use this in the Lumi Lotion. I put it, I mix the two and I put them on my face as a primer and then I put this over it. It did take a couple of minutes for it to actually sort of melt together, but I think it turned out pretty well. And so, yeah, I'm trying the Tear Tear in all sorts of different ways right now. Uh, it's still new to me. Um, I'm liking this formula. I was thinking maybe of getting the moisturizing formula, but I want to give this um, a couple more tries because right now I think this one is actually working really well. And I'm thinking the moisturizing might be a little bit too moisturizing for me after I've worn this for a day. Um, but I do like the fact that it's actually keeping my chin covered and that's the first place where my foundation disappears and I always have to touch that up. But with this, so far, I've had really good luck with the chin and I haven't seen it fading other places. So again, I'm really enjoying these um, so far and I think I'm really going to like this formula like a lot of other people do. And um, I think that's all I'm doing right now. So that's a video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.